Today on Good Day Live, timing is everything. And when we knew we had Brock coming in today from Puro Clean, it just seemed like the right time to hit hard. An important topic. First of all, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. We're coming out of this deep freeze, and we have seen story after story about people with busted pipes, frozen pipes. Yes. And I know you were telling me you've been a busy man. Yeah, we've been a little overwhelmed. Um, a lot of frozen pipes over the weekend. Sure. I know everybody was worried about the snow. No, but the, the temps were the main concern. Yep. So people are finding out now stuff starting to thaw out that they've got some issues with their plumbing. How would someone know that there is an issue? Perhaps they didn't think they had one and then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, there's not very much water pressure here. Or, you know, how do they know? I assume that's okay. the easy way, right? Yeah, so if you notice that your water's not coming out like it normally does, you could have a, a small leak that has started. Um, some people realize they had an issue when they turned it on and nothing came out because it was frozen solid. But once that ice expands, it can create that split in your plumbing. Um, with as cold as it was, not everything started leaking right away. Yeah. And it's slowly starting to unthaw, and then that's when the problems are starting to where we're seeing a lot of water everywhere in walls and, and ceiling cavities especially. And I asked you that is where do you see it often because it, it, you don't know if it's under the house in the crawl space, but mm -hmm. you were telling me in this kind of cold, it's actually the bathrooms that are upstairs perhaps that are the yeah. culprit. So if you don't have insulation in between your first and second floor, that in-between cavity and all that wind got in there and it's, those pipes have frozen. Wow. Those exterior walls, that, that plumbing has frozen. Um, you may not notice in your crawl space, so that's, that's why you need to be watching that water pressure to see if you notice a difference in it. So we go from freezing to, to now we wanted to heat those pipes and yeah. made some very dumb mistakes like using a space heater and leaving it there on your pipes and now yes. you've got a fire because quite frankly, I know that's something you see a lot of this time of year too, mm -hmm. is damage from space heaters, right? Yes, yeah, space heaters are not always used correctly or people leave them on too long or they put them too close to things that are flammable. Mm -hmm. So just using them sparingly when you're only in the room, um, just making sure they're not left unattended because they can really get out of hand quickly or overheat and a lot of them are inexpensive so the controls to keep them from getting too hot aren't always the greatest. Well, and I think, you know, you were telling me that as cold as it got, there were people that actually even will use the oven to heat their house. Is that right? People will turn the oven on and leave the door open wow. um, and it's just constantly in a state of trying to heat up to that 400 or 450, whatever they set it at. And it's never going to get there if it's um, if the door's left open. So those coils, or even if it's gas, you're just constantly having an open flame or something wow. that's going to ignite something in the bottom of the oven. Well, and I think that sometimes this time of year, we just we we don't always think before we do because when you're mm -hmm. cold, you just want to get warm, right? right? I mean, that's the truth of the matter is you're just not yes. thinking about the dangers that are out there. Somebody has a problem, whether it's fire damage or I know you said right now you guys are overwhelmed and don't even mm -hmm. have the equipment at this point to drive right. people out if you wanted to from water damage. But in the long run, if people want to reach you, what's the best way to do that, Brock? Uh, just call us. Call our main line. It's 812-514-8555. At the very least, we can get out, extract some of that water, remove some of that wet material so it's at least opened up, get the process started, and then here in the next day or two, um, when equipment becomes available, we'll be able to start that drying process so we don't have to worry about mold. You know what you're like in these situations? You're like a physician when we don't feel good mm -hmm. because we expect a lot from those people, oh, yeah. and I think people expect a lot when they want their house dried out yeah. and they want the damage fixed, so I know you're a busy man. Oh, I yeah. know things are crazy right now, but we appreciate you taking the time to come in here Absolutely. and share all that information. It's pure okay of Terra Haute. Once again, the number is on the screen. If you have questions, especially related to not mm -hmm. just current situations, but I know you're great with insurance questions, Brock. Yeah, we can field all those. You do it all. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate you taking the time to be here with us to Absolutely. answer some of them.